Hello my Nectarines, Nono here and I'm back with another video. For today I want to take a stab at the tropical summer nail trend and if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, I'm hoping these three images will kind of give you an idea. Lots of bright colors, 3D flowers, animal print, everything and more and I love them so much. I recently created a set like this over my TikTok and I loved it so so much. I thought let me come over here on YouTube and let's do one together. Let's waste no time and get straight into it guys please forgive my raspy voice i just woke up sounding like this i'm kind of here for it though i sound like a radio presenter yes i'm here for it okay so for today i'm gonna be working with some nail tips these are the extra extra long nancy curve square tips and i got these from my local beauty supplier unfortunately i do not have a link for these but i like them because they are the perfect square so i quickly went off camera and i sized up my tips making sure that they sit comfortable and they also fit from sidewall to sidewall. Now something I like to do is to thin out my tips before I stick them onto my nails. I usually have a DIY pillow base coat on and sometimes I just worry that I might file into the, you know, the pillow base. So I like doing this off the nail and I thin the tip out just enough so that when you apply it onto your nail, it's nice and blended and it gives you a flawless application for your acrylic. Now to attach the nails, I'm gonna be using some regular gel base coat. I really love using base coat, especially if you have a bit of base on, it just makes the removal process so much quicker. I saw this trick where you kind of fold in the corners of your tips um, from a girl on TikTok. Unfortunately, I can't remember her account, but this just helps the corners like stick onto the nail really, really nicely. This can be annoying if you know you know. So yeah, try this tip. And then I am just quickly just flash curing with my um, little flashlight and then I put my entire hand in the lamp for 60 seconds just to make sure that it's cured all the way. Of course we are not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna leave them this long so I'm just grabbing my nail clippers and I'm kind of just like trying to figure out what length we're going for today i didn't want to do too long but i also didn't want to do too short so i just figured like this would be a good length After I'm done trimming them down, it's time to just really taper them in and just file up those free edge. I also just find that if you shape up your tips before you apply acrylic, it really helps with the application time. You just work much more quicker. We are ready for the acrylic application. I was not playing you guys when I said we're gonna be doing a lot of acrylic because sis, I've just like not been doing any acrylic and that's not right. So we're in our acrylic era and I'm here for it. I'm grabbing my first bead and you guys know I really, really love starting um, the application by the cuticle area. I just find that this it's just quicker for me to do it this way and uh, I angle the nail down so that the acrylic flows and it doesn't flatter my cuticles and it just makes the whole process go by so quickly. By the way, how have you guys been doing? As I mentioned in my previous video, we are currently experiencing winter in South Africa. It's so cold. I'm over it. I'm not a winter baby at all, you guys. I love summer. Give me the heat. I want to go to the beach. I hate winter. I hate layering. I hate feeling cold. <laughs> if you're a summer baby, please let me know in the comments because wow, winter is just too, too much. I, I don't like it. But what can we do? You know, we just have to hang in there <laughs> and wait for warmer days to come. So I'm only going to show you guys the application for the index finger, the ring finger and the thumb. I kind of left the middle finger and the pinky for myself because I also really enjoy the process of applying um, acrylic onto my nails. So I kind of did that off camera.
now i'm just finishing up with the thumb what i do like to do is just saturate the brush with some monoma and just glide it over the nail just to give the nail a nice smooth finish and we're done with the application you guys so proud of myself it is looking so good i am now gonna file up the nails i'm starting with the cuticle area again just sealing it and making sure that it looks as natural as possible you don't want it to look bulky it kind of gives it away I finish up the rest of my nails off camera, buffed them and then I give them a quick wash and this is how my nails are looking at this point. I'm really happy with the application, I'm loving the shape, I was patting myself in the shoulder, <laughs> hopefully no mishaps this time around. So I got some of the sunscreen onto my nails so I'm using a alcohol pad just to remove all of that oiliness so that we can start with the nail art. I've been really loving the Y2K French vibes. I feel like you have more room to create nail art. And overall, I'm just like, hmm, I'm really liking it. So for this entire set, we're going to be doing a lower smile line. I'm not sure if that's what you would call it. I like to outline it first with a liner brush. Then using the brush for my bottle, I cover up the rest of the nail. Now for this nail, we're going to be doing the zebra print and the 3D flower. It was my second time doing the zebra print. I'm not really um, an expert at it. But the only tip I would give you guys is to just make sure that the lines are squiggly. You know, they're not perfectly straight. And also you want to do lines that kind of merge into each other. And also some lines must kind of like spread out into a fork. I hope that makes sense. And then uh, you just try your best to not to make them touch but if they do touch that's even fine you know what i mean like no two zebras are the same i'm guessing so yeah i'm quickly doing my zebra lines and uh, once i'm done i then quickly cure this part of the nail art in my lamp for 60 seconds I don't know why I struggle so much with my 3D flowers. I hate it when I cannot seem to get certain nail art down to a T. Like, it irks me so much. And at the moment, I really struggle with 3D flowers. I just can't seem to make them look nice. Now I'm going with my Model 1's color cube because I really like the intensity of these gels. I decided to go for a orange purplish kind of flower which I kind of regretted. I should have just made it orange pink but it's okay. I ended up liking it at the end. I'm now going in with the purple gel and I'm ombreing it inwards and just making sure that the two colors are coming together. I then decided to intensify the colors with my pigment powders so I'm taking the orange pigment powder and I'm concentrating it in the center of the flower and then I'm taking the purple one and I'm focusing it on the outside I felt like this really helped just like ombre the colors a little bit the only thing I didn't like about my 3d flower is that at the end I think I applied too much top coat and then it just looked flat and I couldn't even see those little indentations I had made so next time I just have to be really careful about that Now it's time to add the caviar beads in the center. To do that, I'm using my Builder Gel in a bottle from Model 1s to just stick them onto the center. And then I picked up quite a few. I think I picked up five caviar little beadsy weedsies. And then I stuck them into the center of the nail, cured everything for 60 seconds, and then I applied my top coat.
this is the finished finger it could have been better but yeah i got over it you guys <laughs> Now for the middle nail, we are going to be doing the seashell nail art. Once I was done with the smile line, I now decided to fill in the rest of the nail with a um, nail art brush. And while the gel is still wet, I'm now going to go in with different colors, kind of just like going from side to side as you guys can see, and merging them and smooshing them together. It will look like a mess in the beginning, but trust the process, it will end up looking really, really nice. I like going in with a variety of bright colors. Um, you'll see I'm putting a little bit of white in there some blues and then some orange as well just so that it gives a realistic seashell look and i really love the colors that i chose to you know swish together Once I was done with that, I'm now grabbing my um, dotting tool and I'm dragging it from the center of the nails going outwards. I, I'm going to be terrible explaining this so I'm sure you guys can see what I mean. And we're basically creating that seashell like pattern or design. I then cured the nail for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna go on the lines that I created with some white gel polish. I saw someone else do this. I wish I'd saved it, but I didn't. And I thought it was really, really pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. I then decided to go with the white around the smile line as well just to tie everything together. Now I'm top coating and sealing. Cured in my line for 60 seconds and now we're going to do the 3D um, little bits and bobs with my solid top coat. If you remember this, this is the one I got from Shein. I'll also have it linked down in the description box. Guys, I love this product so, so much. It saves me so much time. It dries non tacky and it stays in place which is amazing. I don't have to worry about flash curing in between for example the 3d elements that I'm doing now they shape like a water drop so if I notice that the um, starting point is too too flat while the gel is still wet I can go in with more gel and it stays in place it doesn't move and I just love that about this gel I finished up the rest of the little 3D elements off camera. Now I'm going to add some flat back pearls. I'm also just going to add a little bit caviar beads. If I had like a seashell um, charm or starfish, I would have gone in with one. But unfortunately, I don't have. But I still think that the pearls did an amazing job. And this is the final look, you guys. So, so pretty. If you haven't tried this seashell design, please try it. It's so satisfying to create. And it, it's just so pretty, you guys. On to the next nail, which is the ring finger. I'm going back into that color cube from Model 1. I'm using that bright pink to create a Frenchie for this finger. And then again, using my gel brush, I'm just filling the rest of it up.
I decided off camera that I wanted to try and ombre the nail. I wasn't sure if this was going to work so I didn't film it but I used the purple from the pigment powder and it created such a beautiful ombre. I loved it so much I decided to keep it. Now I'm going to go in with some milky white gel and I'm applying a very thin layer over everything. I was very careful because again I've got um, pigment powder in there and I didn't want it to melt into the milky white gel. I decided to apply it rather like messy and over the fringe because I just wanted to make sure that it's everywhere and then I cleaned up. So for this nail we're doing the water effect so I'm using my blooming gel but I've seen other people use top coat and top coat works just as well. I'm using my dotting tool to just dot a few um, drops of the blooming gel you want to have different sizes of your drops so some are bigger some are smaller and you just give your um, blooming gel time to do its thing and spread out and it gives such a beautiful water effect you guys i really ended up loving this nail Now for the nail art, I just applied one iridescent rhinestone. I had these little glass caviar beads lying around, so I added those as well. And uh, I just played around, you guys, until I was really happy with how it looked. And this is how the ring finger turned out. I am obsessed with this nail. I love it so much. I was too excited to start on the tiger print. So I decided I wanted to do it on the thumbnail. I'm using this beautiful nude shade. Um, this is also from Model 1's. I outlined the smile line. And then once I was done, I then filled everything up with the um, a brush from the gel bottle. I wanted to do an ombre that goes underneath the print so I don't really have a nice warm orange so I mixed my pink pigment with my orange pigment and I found that it created a beautiful warm orange and with a dry clean nail art brush I just tapped it onto the tacky layer of the gel I was already liking how it was looking I really struggled with this tiger print you guys and I couldn't really pinpoint why I was struggling what made it worse is that I showed my husband and he said to me they it looks like little mustaches on the nail <laughs> and then I just didn't like it at all so I ended up wiping it off altogether, and then I decided to do the ombre in the center of the nail like you would in an aura design and I found that that really helped me So I quickly did that off camera and uh, this is how the new one looked now and I was very happy with this one. I'm going in with my solid glue gel and I am kind of placing it along the smile line. I made sure that it's thicker towards the center and then to make it thinner towards the ends, I pulled some of it off. This really helped to give me a nice clean look at the edges. Off camera I went in with my mixture of black gel polish with top coat and then I applied it on the nail. I then rubbed in some gold chrome powder to just finish this nail and then I top coated everything. This nail is my favorite you guys. I love this nail. I could do an entire set exactly like this. I feel like the gold just worked so well with the tiger print with the orange and the black. It's just this nail is my favorite. So stunning. Now we're at the last nail which is the pinky nail i wanted to do something really simple for this one so i'm going in with this periwinkle 
per listen to Jow. I'm now using the pink pigment powder to create a cute little aura right in the center of that French. And then again, you want to make sure that your brush is clean and it's dry and it doesn't have any product on it. I then top coated the nail and I'm finishing the design off with my solid top coat. I just decided to keep it simple. I just did a 3D spiral. Once I was done, I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. And we were officially done with our set today. I'm finishing everything off with just some cuticle oils because my cuticles are so dry. And this is the final set, you guys. I am really happy with how they all turned out. I love the fact that it looks like tropical slash mermaid nails at the same time. I'm loving the new trend of doing different designs per nail. It's just so much fun to create the nail art. And overall, the nails just look so interesting, so beautiful. So I'm obsessed. Please let me know down in the comment section which nail is your favorite. As I mentioned, mine is a tiger print because I thought it was just amazing. I am so proud of myself that I was able to pull it off. I'm really curious to see what you guys think of this set. If you haven't, please do me a huge favor. Click the like button. It helps my channel out a whole lot and most importantly if you haven't please subscribe i'm gonna see you guys real real soon i hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are bye guys